This video shows a pre-trip inspection of one type of combination vehicle, a tractor trailer with one trailer. Both the tractor and the trailer are equipped with air brakes, and the vehicle uses fifth wheel coupling. The scenes depict a couple of different vehicles for generality. A note on how to conduct a pre-trip inspection, where there are several components of the same type, such as rear axle tires and foundation brakes. You don't have to inspect them on both sides of the vehicle to pass the pre-trip inspection test for your CDL. Just inspect one side and tell the examiner that once you become a licensed commercial driver, you will inspect both sides during every pre-trip inspection, and that's what you should do. This pre-trip inspection video uses three catchphrases, which you should memorize. They describe the desired general condition of nearly every item in the vehicle. The first catchphrase is properly mounted and secure. Nearly every item that you inspect should be properly mounted and secure. Another catchphrase is cracked, bent, or broken. A hard item, such as metal, should not be cracked, bent, or broken. And finally, the catchphrase abrasions, bulges, or cuts. A soft, flexible item, such as an air hose or electrical line, should not have any abrasions, bulges, or cuts. For the pre-trip inspection test for your CDL, make sure that you point out each item that you're inspecting and say these catchphrases to the examiner to describe the condition of the item. Let's start by inspecting the tractor. Front of tractor. There are no puddles underneath the tractor that might indicate an oil leak or radiator leak. The vehicle is not leaning to one side. Nothing visible from the front is broken or hanging loose. The marker lights are clean, of the proper color, properly mounted and secure, and not cracked, bent, or broken. The headlights are clean, properly mounted and secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, and not fogged out. Driver side door. The door is properly mounted and secure, and not cracked, bent, or broken. The door opens, closes, and latches properly from the outside. The hinges support the door's weight. The door seals are intact, not worn, torn, or rotted. They seal the door when the door is closed. Mirrors. The mirrors are clean, properly mounted and secure, and not cracked, bent, or broken. Now enter the cab and perform the in-cab inspection. This will include tests of the air braking system. Inspect the rest of the exterior of the tractor. Fuel tank. The fuel tank is properly mounted and secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, and not leaking. No fuel lines are leaking. The fuel filler caps are closed tight. Catwalk and steps. The catwalk and steps are properly mounted and secure, and not cracked, bent, or broken. The catwalk is clear of any loose objects. The catwalk and steps support the driver's weight. Tractor frame, cross members. The cross members are properly mounted and secure and not cracked, bent, or broken. There are no non factory welds or holes. No cross members are missing. Tractor frame, side rails. The side rails are properly mounted and secure and not cracked, bent, or broken. There are no non factory welds. Perform the following checks on the tractor suspension spring mounts. The spring mounts are properly mounted and secure at both ends and are not cracked, bent, or broken. Shock absorbers. The shock absorbers are properly mounted and secure at both ends and are not cracked, bent, or broken. They are not leaking. Leaf springs, if equipped with leaf spring suspension. The leaf springs are properly mounted and secure at both ends and are not cracked, bent, or broken. None have shifted out of place. Spring hangers. The spring hangers are properly mounted and secure at both the front and the rear. The spring hangers are not cracked, bent, or broken. Perform the following checks on the tractor front brakes. Brake hoses or lines. The brake hoses are properly mounted and secure at both ends with no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. The hoses are not leaking air. The hoses are not rubbing on anything. Brake chambers. 
The brake chamber is properly mounted and secure, with the C-clamp secured around the chamber. The brake chamber is not cracked, bent, or broken, and is not leaking air. Slack adjusters and pushrods. Each slack adjuster and pushrod is properly mounted and secure, and not cracked, bent, or broken. With the brakes released, a typical pushrod does not move more than one inch when the slack adjuster is pulled. Brake lining for drum brakes or brake pad for disc brakes. Note, drum brakes have a brake lining, disc brakes have a brake pad. The brake lining or pad is properly mounted and secure and not cracked, bent, or broken. There is no oil, fluid, or debris on it. It is not worn dangerously thin. Note, learn what the minimally acceptable thickness is for your vehicle. Brake drum for drum brakes. If you're inspecting a drum brake, the brake drum is properly mounted and secure and not cracked, bent, or broken. It is not discolored, which would indicate overheating. It is free of grease and oil. Caliper for disc brakes. If you're inspecting a disc brake, the caliper is properly mounted and secure and not cracked, bent, or broken. The brake chamber is tight against the caliper. Perform the following checks on the steering system. Steering gearbox. The gearbox is properly mounted and secure and not cracked, bent, or broken. There are no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. The gearbox is not leaking. The gearbox hoses are properly mounted and secure at both ends, with no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. The hoses are not rubbing on anything. Steering column. The steering column is properly mounted and secure, and not cracked, bent, or broken. There is no excessive movement at the U-joint. The steering wheel should not have more than 10 degrees of play. Pitman arm and rest of steering linkage. Note, the steering linkage includes the pitman arm, tie rod, drag link, and upper and lower steering knuckles. Each of these components is properly mounted and secure, and not cracked, bent, or broken. The drag link's connections are made with a castle nut and cotter pin. Tie rod. Nothing is twisted or wrapped around the tie rod. Tractor front airbags if the tractor is equipped with air ride suspension. The airbag is properly mounted and secure, with no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. No mounting bolts are missing. No airbag mounts or bolts are cracked, bent, or broken. The airbag is not leaking air. Perform the following checks on the tractor rear brakes. Brake hoses or lines. The brake hoses are properly mounted and secure at both ends, with no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. The hoses are not leaking air. The hoses are not rubbing on anything. Brake chambers. The brake chamber is properly mounted and secure, with the C-clamp secured around the chamber. The brake chamber is not cracked, bent, or broken, and is not leaking air. Slack adjusters and pushrods. Each slack adjuster and pushrod is properly mounted and secure, and not cracked, bent, or broken. With the brakes released, a typical pushrod does not move more than one inch when the slack adjuster is pulled. Brake lining for drum brakes or brake pad for disc brakes. Note, drum brakes have a brake lining, disc brakes have a brake pad. The brake lining or pad is properly mounted and secure and not cracked, bent, or broken. There is no oil, fluid, or debris on it. It is not worn dangerously thin. Note, learn what the minimally acceptable thickness is for your vehicle. Brake drum for drum brakes. If you're inspecting a drum brake, the brake drum is properly mounted and secure and not cracked, bent, or broken. It is not discolored, which would indicate overheating. It is free of grease and oil. Caliper for disc brakes. If you're inspecting a disc brake, the caliper is properly mounted and secure and not cracked, bent, or broken. The brake chamber is tight against the caliper. Perform the following checks on the tractor wheels. Tires. There are no abrasions, bulges, or cuts on the tread or sidewall. There is no visible tread separation. There is no evidence of uneven wear. 
no foreign objects are stuck into the tire. The tire is not leaking. All valve stems, both inner and outer, have caps. The tread depth is at least 4 30 seconds of an inch or 3 millimeters for the steering axle tires and at least 2 30 seconds of an inch or 1.6 millimeters for all other tires. The tire is inflated to the manufacturer's specifications. Use a tire pressure gauge to get an accurate reading. Spacers for dual tires. If you're inspecting dual tires, the spacers are properly mounted and secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, and not rusted through. There is proper spacing between the dual tires. No foreign objects are stuck between the dual tires. Rims. The rim is properly mounted and secure, and not cracked, bent, or broken. The flange is not bent. There are no welding repairs. There are no rust trails. Lug nuts. All 10 lug nuts are in place. None are missing. Each lug nut is properly mounted and secure, and not cracked, bent, or broken. There are no rust trails. There is no powder residue. There are no cracks along the bolt holes. Wheel seals. The wheel seal, which is also called a hub seal or axle seal, is properly mounted and secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, and not leaking. The wheel seal is filled to the manufacturer's specifications. Perform the following steps on the part of the tractor that's behind the cab. Catwalk and steps. The catwalk and steps are properly mounted and secure and not cracked, bent, or broken. They are clear of any loose objects. They support the driver's weight, dry shaft and universal joints, or U-joints for short. The dry shaft and U-joints are properly mounted and secure and not cracked, bent, or broken. The dry shaft and U-joints are properly lubricated. The dry shaft is not twisted. The U-joints are free of debris. Exhaust system. The exhaust system is properly mounted and secure and not cracked, bent, or broken. There are no signs of leaks. Note, in the tractor shown in this scene, the exhaust is underneath the tractor. Other tractors may have an exhaust stack instead, but these same pre-trip checks should be performed with either type of exhaust system. Tractor rear airbags, if the tractor is equipped with air ride suspension. If your tractor is equipped with rear air ride suspension, the airbag is properly mounted and secure with no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. No mounting bolts are missing. No airbag mounts or bolts are cracked, bent, or broken. The airbag is not leaking air. Inspect the air and electrical connections between the tractor and the trailer. Air lines. Each of the two air lines is properly mounted and secure at both ends, and it has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. It is not leaking air. Electrical cable. The electrical cable is properly mounted and secure at both ends, and it has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. There are no exposed wires. Now let's start to inspect the trailer, front of trailer. On the front of the trailer, the header board at the front of the trailer is properly mounted and secure and not cracked, bent, or broken. The header board has no holes or missing rivets. Reflective tape, side of trailer. On the side of the trailer, DOT reflector tape is present, clean and affixed securely. Perform the following checks on the fifth wheel coupling. Tractor fifth wheel skid plate. The fifth wheel skid plate is properly mounted and secure, properly lubricated, and not cracked, bent, or broken. Trailer apron. The trailer apron is properly mounted and secure, and not cracked bent, or broken. There is no visible space between the trailer apron and the fifth wheel skid plate. Trailer kingpin. The trailer kingpin is properly mounted and secure and not cracked, bent, or broken. Locking jaws. The locking jaws are properly mounted and secure and not cracked, bent, or broken. The locking jaws are fully locked around the shank of the kingpin. Release arm. The release arm is properly mounted and secure and not cracked, bent, or broken. Tractor platform. 
on which the fifth wheel is mounted. The fifth wheel is mounted on a platform. The platform is properly mounted and secure and not cracked, bent, or broken. Clearance for turns. There is adequate clearance between the tractor frame and the trailer landing gear, between the tractor splash guards, also known as mud flaps, and the trailer landing gear, and between the nose of the trailer and the tops of the tractor tires. Inspect the side of the trailer. Landing gear. The landing gear is fully raised, properly mounted and secure, and not cracked, bent, or broken. The legs go up and down together. The crank handle is securely stowed in its cradle. If the landing gear is power operated, there are no air or hydraulic leaks. Trailer frame, cross members. The cross members are properly mounted and secure and not cracked, bent, or broken. There are no non-factory welds or holes. No cross members are missing. Trailer frame, side rails. The side rails are properly mounted and secure, and not cracked, bent, or broken. There are no non-factory welds. Perform the following checks on the trailer suspension. Spring mounts. The spring mounts are properly mounted and secure at both ends, and are not cracked, bent, or broken. Shock absorbers. The shock absorbers are properly mounted and secure at both ends, and are not cracked, bent, or broken. They are not leaking. Leaf springs, if equipped with leaf spring suspension. The leaf springs are properly mounted and secure at both ends and are not cracked, bent, or broken. None have shifted out of place. Spring hangers. The spring hangers are properly mounted and secure at both the front and the rear and are not cracked, bent, or broken. Rear axle. The rear axle is properly mounted and secure and not cracked, bent, or broken. Trailer airbags. If the trailer is equipped with air ride suspension. If the trailer is equipped with air ride suspension, the airbag is properly mounted and secure with no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. No mounting bolts are missing. No airbag mounts or bolts are cracked, bent, or broken. The airbag is not leaking air. Perform the following checks on the trailer brakes. Brake hoses or lines. The brake hoses are properly mounted and secure at both ends, with no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. The hoses are not leaking air. The hoses are not rubbing on anything. Brake chambers. The brake chamber is properly mounted and secure, with the C-clamp secured around the chamber. The brake chamber is not cracked, bent, or broken and is not leaking air. Slack adjusters and pushrods. Each slack adjuster and pushrod is properly mounted and secure and not cracked, bent, or broken. With the brakes released, a typical pushrod does not move more than one inch when the slack adjuster is pulled. Brake lining for drum brakes or brake pad for disc brakes. Note, drum brakes have a brake lining. Disc brakes have a brake pad. The brake lining or pad is properly mounted and secure and not cracked, bent, or broken. There is no oil, fluid, or debris on it. It is not worn dangerously thin. Note, learn what the minimally acceptable thickness is for your vehicle. Brake drum for drum brakes. If you're inspecting a drum brake, the brake drum is properly mounted and secure and not cracked, bent, or broken. It is not discolored, which would indicate overheating. It is free of grease and oil. Caliper for disc brakes. If you're inspecting a disc brake, the caliper is properly mounted and secure and not cracked, bent, or broken. The brake chamber is tight against the caliper. Perform the following checks on the rear of the trailer. Cargo doors. The doors are properly mounted and secure and not cracked, bent, or broken. The doors open, close, and latch properly from the outside. The rear impact guard, commonly called a DOT bumper, is present and intact. Cargo securement devices. Cargo securement devices include tie-downs, chains, and straps. Any securement devices that are used are properly mounted and secure at both ends. Trailer lights. 
the lights are clean, not cracked, bent, or broken, and have the proper colors, which are red on the rear and amber elsewhere. The lights operate properly. This is tested as part of the in cab inspection. Trailer reflectors. The reflectors are clean, not cracked, bent, or broken, and have the proper colors red on the rear, amber elsewhere. DOT reflector tape is present, clean, and affixed securely. Mud flaps. The mud flaps are properly mounted and secure, and not cracked, bent, or broken. Perform the following checks on the trailer wheels. Tires. There are no abrasions, bulges, or cuts on the tread or sidewall. There is no visible tread separation. There is no evidence of uneven wear. No foreign objects are stuck into the tire. The tire is not leaking. All valve stems, both inner and outer, have caps. The tread depth is at least 2 30 seconds of an inch, or 1.6 millimeters. The tire is inflated to the manufacturer's specifications. Use a tire pressure gauge to get an accurate reading. Spacers for dual tires. If you're inspecting dual tires, the spacers are properly mounted and secure, not cracked, bent or broken, and not rusted through. There is proper spacing between the dual tires. No foreign objects are stuck between the dual tires. Rims. The rim is properly mounted and secure, and not cracked, bent, or broken. The flange is not bent. There are no welding repairs. There are no rust trails. Lug nuts. All 10 lug nuts are in place, none are missing. Each lug nut is properly mounted and secure and not cracked, bent, or broken. There are no rust trails. There is no powder residue. There are no cracks along the bolt holes. Wheel seals. The wheel seal, which is also called a hub seal or axle seal, is properly mounted and secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, and not leaking. The wheel seal is filled to the manufacturer's specifications. Sliding tandems, if so equipped. On many trailers, the tandem axles can be slid forward or backward to change the weight distribution of the vehicle. If your vehicle is so equipped, check that the locking pins are locked in place and the release arm is secured.